It was a Friday night back in 2018, and I found myself holed up at home, engrossed in finishing a work paper. The clock was inching towards 10 o'clock, and despite having already put in a full day's work, I was determined to wrap things up so I could enjoy a worry-free weekend. After three solid hours in my home office, fatigue was starting to set in. Every so often, I'd catch myself drifting off or losing focus. Feeling the need to break free from the monotony, I pushed back from my desk and stretched my limbs. As I paced around the room, trying to shake off the weariness, something caught my eye by the window. Peering out from the second story, my gaze fell upon the front portion of the property, illuminated by the glow of the porch light. At first, I dismissed it as a trick of the light, but then I saw it again. A shadow lingering near the sidewalk leading to the porch. Curiosity peaked, I abandoned my desk and descended the stairs. Standing before the front door, I hesitated before peering through the peephole. What met my gaze was a man, perhaps in his forties, with a bald head and a scruffy gray beard. He stood motionless, silent as the night. Despite the unease creeping over me, I swung the door open, confronting him with a stern tone. Yet, his demeanor remained unchanged, his expression devoid of any emotion. Frustration welled up inside me as he refused to acknowledge my questions. Instead, his gaze drifted past me, scanning the interior of my home. Sensing the intrusion, I quickly shielded the view and demanded he leave. With a sense of relief, I watched as he finally turned and walked away from the house. Returning to my office, I attempted to shake off the encounter and refocus on my work. But just as I settled back in, a sudden knock shattered the silence, echoing through the house. The tension in the air was palpable as I stormed down the stairs. Fueled by irritation at the loud banging on my front door, flipping the door open with force, ready to unleash my frustration. I was met with a sight that froze me in my tracks. The man standing before me seemed to exude an aura of menace, his eyes gleaming with an intensity that sent shivers down my spine. My anger dissolved into fear as I noticed the way he clutched something at his side. Hidden from view, my gaze darted to his hands, catching a glimpse of what appeared to be a small handle, resembling that of a knife. Panic surged within me as his body lunged forward, and I instinctively slammed the door shut, frantically securing the lock as he attempted to force his way in. The sound of his fists pounding against the door reverberated through the house, each blow sending shock waves of terror through my trembling body. It was only when he retreated into the night that I dared to draw a ragged breath, my heart still racing with adrenaline. Shaken but determined, I retreated to the safety of my office and dialed 911. The events of that harrowing encounter seared into my memory. Months passed, and the memory of that night lingered like a shadow, casting a pall over my sense of security. Seeking solace and distraction, I embarked on a trip to visit old friends, a journey that would take me through winding roads and unfamiliar towns. As I traversed the snowy landscape, the quaint charm of small-town life greeted me, offering respite from the chaos of the world. Arriving at my Airbnb, nestled in the quiet embrace of a secluded town, I marveled at its modern yet rustic facade, a solitary beacon amidst the vast expanse of countryside. 
entering the house, I felt a sense of calm wash over me. The familiar routine of unpacking grounding me in the present moment. Yet, as I settled into the coziness of the living room, a sudden tapping drew my attention to the window, where a woman stood, her wild demeanor sending a chill down my spine. Her erratic gestures pointed me towards the front door, leaving me unsettled yet compelled to investigate, though rationalizing her presence as that of a harmless local. I couldn't shake the unease gnawing at the edges of my consciousness. A lingering reminder of the fragility of safety in the face of the unknown. I had barely settled into the couch when a sudden tapping at the window shattered the tranquility of the evening. With a mixture of curiosity and apprehension, I cracked open the door, allowing a sliver of space for conversation. The woman outside wore a smile that seemed out of place. Her request for help tinged with desperation. As she spoke of losing something on the road, a sense of unease gnawed at the edges of my consciousness, peering into the darkness beyond the glow of the Airbnb lights. I hesitated, unsure of how to assist her. Politely declining her plea for assistance, I retreated back inside, the encounter leaving me with a lingering sense of discomfort. Was she merely a lost soul seeking aid? Or was there something more sinister lurking beneath the surface, attempting to shake off the unsettling encounter? I immersed myself in the comfort of familiar TV shows, the passage of time blurring as the night wore on. Yet, as the hour grew late and sleep eluded me, a sense of foreboding settled over me like a heavy blanket. Startled from a restless slumber, I was jolted awake by a faint sound emanating from the front of the house. With a racing heart, I navigated the darkened hallway, my senses on high alert. As I reached the front door, a surge of adrenaline propelled me forward, instinctively bracing myself against the force on the other side. For a moment, the struggle seemed poised on a knife's edge, the unknown assailant matching my strength with equal determination. With a final push, they relented, their retreating footsteps echoing down the driveway. Locking the door behind me, I peered out the window in a futile attempt to catch a glimpse of the intruder, yet the darkness offered no answers, shrouding their identity secrecy. Faced with the chilling reality of the situation, I knew remaining in that isolated house was no longer an option. Hastily gathering my belongings, I fled into the safety of my car, leaving behind the eerie silence of that small town. Reflecting on the events of that fateful night, I couldn't shake the feeling that the woman's arrival had been a harbinger of danger, a prelude to the sinister events that followed. In the quiet solitude of my thoughts, I couldn't help but wonder what unseen forces had conspired to lead me down that treacherous path, venturing out into the soothing embrace of nature. I embarked on a tranquil evening stroll along a familiar trail leading to a secluded spot I had stumbled upon years earlier, nestled at the end of a dirt path. This hidden oasis offered solace from the chaos of the world, its serene beauty untouched by the hustle and bustle of civilization. As the golden hues of twilight painted the sky, I set out on a leisurely exploration the surrounding forest, reveling in the tranquility of the hour. Yet, my peaceful reverie was shattered by the unexpected sight of a lone figure meandering through the woods ahead. At first glance, 
the man appeared unremarkable, just another wanderer lost in thought amidst the trees. However, as I observed him from a distance, a sense of unease crept over me. His erratic gestures and animated demeanor hinted at a conversation with invisible companions. His words lost to the rustle of leaves and the whisper of the wind. Though I tried to dismiss my apprehensions as mere paranoia, the memory of his peculiar behavior lingered, casting a shadow over my evening retreat. With a heavy heart, I retreated to the safety of my tent. The solitude of the wilderness offering little comfort in the wake of such unsettling encounters. As darkness descended upon the forest, I sought solace by the flickering glow of a campfire, the crackling flames offering a fleeting sense of warmth amidst the chill of the night, lost in the rhythm of my own thoughts. I wiled away the hours, seeking refuge in the quiet serenity of the wilderness. Yet, as the night wore on and the stars danced overhead, a distant murmur pierced the silence, sending a shiver down my spine. Straining my ears, I listened intently as the indistinct voice echoed through the trees, its source obscured by the veil of darkness. With a sinking feeling in the pit of my stomach, I realized that I was not alone in the forest. The possibility of encountering the mysterious stranger once more sent a chill down my spine as I huddled closer to the dwindling embers of the fire, hoping to remain unnoticed in the cloak of night. With bated breath, I waited, my senses alert the slightest sound, praying that the interloper would pass by without incident. Yet, as the voice faded into the distance, leaving behind an eerie silence, I couldn't shake the feeling that I was being watched, a silent observer in a shadowy game of cat and mouse amidst the wilderness. Hours, with each step, my heart pounded in my chest eerie silence of the forest amplifying the sound of my own footsteps. The memory of the stranger's unsettling grin lingered in my mind, a constant reminder of the danger lurking in the shadows. As I navigated the winding path back to civilization, every rustle of leaves and snap of twigs sent a jolt of adrenaline coursing through my veins. The dense canopy overhead seemed to close in around me, casting elongated shadows that danced menacingly in the moonlight. Though I dared not look back, the feeling of being pursued lingered like a specter at my heels. Had the stranger returned to finish what he started? Or was he merely a solitary wanderer, lost in the labyrinth of his own thoughts? With each passing moment, the distance between myself and the secluded campsite grew, until at last, the faint glow of distant streetlights signaled my escape from the clutches of the forest. Collapsing onto the familiar pavement, I breathed a sigh of relief, grateful to have emerged unscathed from the heart of darkness. Yet. Even as I drove away from that isolated patch of wilderness, the memory of that fateful night lingered like a shadow, a stark reminder of the fragility of safety in the face of the unknown. As the miles stretched on, I couldn't help but wonder what unseen forces had conspired to lead me into the path of danger and would I ever truly be free from its grasp? As I drove away from the isolated patch of wilderness, the adrenaline began to fade, replaced by a bone-deep weariness that settled over me like a heavy cloak. The events of that harrowing night replayed 
in my mind, each detail etched into my memory with a clarity that sent shivers down my spine. Arriving at the safety of my home, I found little solace in the familiar surroundings. The shadows seemed to dance with malevolent intent, and every creak of the floorboards sent a shiver of apprehension down my spine. Seeking refuge in the comfort of my bed, I lay awake for hours, the darkness of the night offering no respite from the haunting memories that plagued my thoughts. Sleep eluded me, its elusive embrace slipping through my fingers like sand. In the days that followed, I couldn't shake the feeling of unease that lingered like a specter at my side. The mundane routines of daily life offered little distraction. As my mind constantly returned to the events of that fateful night in the woods, had I narrowly escaped a brush with danger, or merely encountered a troubled soul lost in the depths of the wilderness, the questions lingered, unanswered, as I grappled with the uncertainty that clouded my thoughts. Yet. Amidst the fear and uncertainty, a newfound sense of resilience began to take root within me. I refused to be defined by the shadows of the past, determined to forge ahead with a newfound sense of purpose and determination. With each passing day, the memories of that night began to fade, replaced by a steely resolve to embrace life's challenges head on. Though the scars of that encounter would forever linger, I refused to let them hold me captive to fear, for in the face of adversity, I had emerged stronger, more resilient than ever before. And as I gazed out into the horizon, a sense of hope stirred within me, a beacon of light guiding me forward on the journey ahead. As days turned into weeks, the memory of that haunting night gradually faded into the recesses of my mind, buried beneath the weight of daily obligations and the passage of time. Yet, despite my best efforts to move on, a lingering sense of unease continued to gnaw at the edges of my consciousness. Every rustle of leaves outside my window, every shadow cast by the moonlight, served as a stark reminder of the fragility of safety in an unpredictable world. The ordinary rhythms of life were tinged with a newfound sense of caution as I navigated each day with heightened vigilance. Yet, amidst the lingering fear, there remained a glimpse of resilience, a determination to reclaim a sense of normalcy in the wake of adversity. I sought solace in the familiar routines of daily life, finding comfort in the mundane tasks that grounded me in the present moment. As weeks turned into months, the memory of that fateful encounter began to lose its sharp edges, softened learned from that night remained etched into the fabric of my being, serving as a constant reminder to trust my instincts and remain vigilant in the face of danger. Though the scars of that encounter may never fully heal, I refused to let fear dictate the course of my life. Instead, I chose to embrace each day a renewed sense of purpose and gratitude, cherishing the moments of joy and connection that punctuated the ordinary moments of life. For in the darkness of that night, I had discovered a strength within myself that I never knew existed, a resilience forged in the crucible of adversity, ready to face Whatever challenges lay ahead with courage and determination. 
and as I gazed out into the world with renewed clarity, I found solace in the knowledge that no matter what trials may come my way, I would face them head on, guided by the lessons learned from that fateful night in the wilderness. In the tapestry of life, there are moments that test our courage, challenge our resilience, and leave an indelible mark upon our souls. The events of that haunting night served as a crucible, forging within me a strength that I never knew existed. A strength born of adversity, tempered by perseverance, and fueled by the unyielding determination to rise above. Though the shadows of fear may linger, I refuse to let them define me. Instead, I choose to walk boldly into the unknown. Guided by the lessons learned from that fateful encounter, and fueled by a steadfast resolve to embrace life's challenges with courage and grace. As I stand on the threshold of tomorrow, I am reminded of the boundless possibilities that await, the infinite opportunities to forge new paths, and the unwavering resilience that resides within us all. For in the darkest of nights, there shines a light of hope and strength that illuminates our way forward, guiding us toward a future filled with promise and possibility. And so, I embrace each day with gratitude in my heart, cherishing the moments of joy, savoring the beauty of the ordinary, and navigating life's twists and turns with courage and conviction. For in the end, it is not the challenges we face that define us, but rather how we rise to meet them with resilience, with grace, and with an unwavering belief in the power of the human spirit.